Hello, it's January 2021, and I have another update on the cone winder today. So let's jump right into it. So here's the new version of the cone winder, and I've made quite a few updates. One of the simple ones is this tool now um, holds it so that the cone's not going to fall out, and that's an easy way to, to get the yarn on. So that's a nice improvement. Another thing worth mentioning is that these arms here, uh, I've adjusted the angles a little bit on those so that they actually hold the cone a little bit better and make winding the cone uh, a little smoother. I do plan, I think, to extend them a little bit, make them a little bit longer, but I'm pretty happy with those at this point. Another big change is I added this uh, this is a completely new tool, but basically what I did here was I added this so that you can sort of thread that through there, and then you just put yarn on. Then you can pull your yarn through using this, and that makes it really easy to get the yarn onto the cone. And it was a little bit problematic before, but with this tool now, it makes it super easy. And I have a little storage area underneath that just sort of holds it like that. So that works really well. Another big change is the yarn guide here. I went from two arms down to one, and this is held in place underneath uh, by a plastic snap. I actually, and, and this works okay, but it does come unsnapped sometimes. I think I'm gonna be changing to a screw system where I have um, something where I, I put on like maybe a wing nut or some other kind of a nut that sort of holds it in place. I think that'll be a little bit sturdier and won't have the problem with coming undone, but we'll still make it easy to remove it. So you can see like this version's quite easy to remove and install, um, which I really love, but I need to find something that, you know, never comes undone. But uh, making progress on that, that's just part of uh, the development process. Um, I think we're getting close to the point where I'd be happy to have beta testers try out the version and uh, think I'll get a lot of feedback from that stage. So we're almost there, but I still have to do a little bit more testing to make sure that I'm happy with it myself. One other thing I added is this clamping mechanism. This is actually a clamp that's the same as what I'm using on the yarn counter. So I already know this clamp works quite well. You just put it on the edge of a table and hold it in place. I've actually found because this machine is so heavy and so well balanced, I don't need the clamp, but I'll probably include it just for people who want to clamp it to the edge of a table and sort of keep it uh, in, in one spot without any chance of, of moving. Maybe if you're doing a, a lot of yarn uh, I mean, I guess I'll decide exactly what to do with that after having my beta testers do some testing, but uh, it, it works really well. I just am not finding the need of it. I did put on these little rubber feet at, four cor at the four corners, um, and that really helps prevent it from sliding around too much uh, under normal use. So in past videos, I've gone from things like balls onto the cone, but people have pointed out that a lot of people, in fact, maybe most, are going to be going from skeins to balls. So you'll be using a swift like this and going to the cone winder. So that's the setup I'm going to be showing you today in this video. So we'll just start it at a nice slow speed. And you kind of see how it goes back and forth on the drum. And we'll crank up the speed now. So yeah, you can see that it's going pretty quickly right now, 
and it's filling up that cone um, quite evenly. We'll just let it keep going until the skein is finished. It's getting close to complete right now. And it's almost going to be done. I haven't added it yet, but I will be adding an auto off feature if there's a tangle or something. But right now, it just keeps going. And we now have a full and uh, beautiful cone there right off of a uh, Swift. So I've got some more improvements to come. And like I said earlier, I'll be uh, having some of my trusted baby testers putting this through its steps. I expect that there'll be a, a number of improvements that I decide to implement based on their feedback. So it's still a while before this will be ready for production, but it's it's getting pretty far along and uh, definitely uh, pretty happy with the design so far. Hope this video was interesting and thanks for watching.